Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to perform a free mockup for your Blender 3D animation software just by using the 3D Post Tracker and I'm going to show you step by step. The 3D Post Tracker is a mockup app that you can get it from my video description, get it from the official sites, etc. And you can use any of your MP4 video that you pre-recorded by using your camera, your webcam. You record your own MP4 and it is going to convert it to become a mockup, what we call the BVH file. And then this BVH file, BVH can be imported into Blender. And then in your Blender, I'm going to show you how to use the Rococo plugin. This is a free plugin for retargeting and you can retarget it in any of your 3D humanoid avatar in Blender. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you can just go and download the 3D Post Tracker from my video description. Once you download it already, now we can start. And then, now I'm going to show you my 3D Post Tracker. Now, I'm going to open it. Once you download it, you can just unzip it and open it. Now, I'm going to open the 3D Post Tracker. Now, the 3D Post Tracker is opening. And then, I'm going to show you that as demo, I'm going to use some of the, the sample videos. You can see this is one of a simple a, a sample video, a dancing, a dancing video or you can use this type of video. Now you can see. This 3D post tracker, it is using the AI, the artificial intelligence, it is going to automatic mock up the video. And then it is going to convert it to become a BVH. And it is, it have the cap capability to capture the finger as well. Everything is just in the configuration. It, under the configuration here, then you have the lip sync, you have the you can all search it here. You can see use hand tracking, that means it, it is going to trace the hand, the fingers, etc. And then you can use a mirror mode as well. You can mirror everything. This is the mirror mode. That means it is going to flip like a mirror the whole the whole animation. So now as demo, I'm not going to set any configuration here. But very quick, I'm going to import a sample video for example this. So I click load movie. Next, I load the same location here. Then as demo, I'm going to load this, the sample video 02. Once loaded already, you can click record BVH. For any time frame, you can just click record. Now it is recording. Recording the BVH according to your video. Once you're done already, if you feel satisfied, you can just click recording again. It is going to stop. And as demo, I'm going to save this as a motion.bvh. This is a mockup. And I will save it on my desktop. At this moment, you can just close the 3D Post Tracker. Close it. Right now, this is a BVH file. And next, you can just open your Blender. And for today, this is Blender 3.6. So after that, we are going to import the BVH into the Blender. Now I'm still waiting for the Blender to open. Now, the first I'm going to press A and press delete to delete everything. Then I will show the texture here. Next, I'm, I'm going to click File, Import, BVH here. It is on my desktop under the motion. Now I try to play. You can see this is exactly the dancing mockup just now. And this is the BVH motion. I'm going to retarget it on my 3D model. First, I'm going to click this and 
press G and press X to move it to the side. And I'm going to click File, Import, Import an FBX from my desktop. This is the Model 02 that I created by using the Vroid Studio. Like this. So I want to retarget this at this skeleton. So first I'm going to click this skeleton, go to the viewport display, then I tick in front and I, I want to name this. And next, I, I click this as well and show all the name. Now we are going to retarget. And next, you must you must already install the Rococo plugin. And this plugin will enable you to be able to retargeting the BVH mockup in any of your 3D humanoid avatar which already have the skeleton. So if you don't know how to install the Rococo plugin, you can just go to this site. You can just scroll down, go to my video description. I already put the resources in my video description and everything will link to the official site that you can install the Rococo plugin. For me, I already installed the Rococo plugin. I press N. Now I can see the Rococo plugin already here. This is ready for me to use. Then I choose the retargeting. The source, I'm going to choose BVH. Then the target, I'm going to choose this one. Then I click build bone list. And here, you need to really retarget it carefully. Now you can see the first one is the hip. Hip corresponding to the hip here. You can see the name. Then the spine. The next one is the spine. The spine is correct. Then chest. Then chest. Yes. The upper chest. For this skeleton, it doesn't have the upper chest, so you can just make it blank. You just need to check one by one. Neck and the head. Neck and the head. Is that? This avatar also, neck and the head. Yes, correct. Everything correct. This is the head bone. So next it is the shoulder. Left shoulder here, then left shoulder. The same name. The left upper arm. Left arm. Lower arm. Left elbow. Left hand. Left wrist. Correct. Then, as demo, I'm not going to, to retarget all of the fingers. If it can auto-detect, then just let it be there. If it cannot auto-detect, then I'm going to ignore. The finger is not important because this is just a demo. So overall, if all of the skeleton can be retarget, then this, this is a simple demo. Right shoulder, right shoulder. So right upper arm, right arm. Lower arm is the elbow, right hand, right wrist, correct already. Next is the leg. The upper leg here is corresponding to left leg. Upper leg, left leg. Then lower leg, left knee. This one, lower leg, is correct. Then left foot, left ankle, left toes, left toes. Correct. So all of this, everything correct. Then, and you still remember just now, we already moved this, just now. We already moved it to this location. We must move it back, the location X, we press 0, make sure it, it moves back. Then, click retarget the animation. Now you can see everything get retargeted already. Next, I'm going to hide the motion. Then, under this armature, I'm going to turn off the viewport display and the name. Now I'm I'm going to to just say, yes, you can see now this dancing animation already retargeted properly on this 3D avatar, and everything gets success and everything is free. This 3D post tracker is a free software that released by its official site. You can just scroll down to the link. You can just go and download it. Then you can perform the free motion capture for a blender and it is unlimited use. It never charge you a, a single cent, a single dollar. Yeah, right. It is just very awesome for you to perform any of the mockup, the motion capture. By using the BVH as the platform, you can import the BVH into the blender. All right, that's all for today about my tutorial on 
how to perform the free mockup by using the 3D Post Tracker. And then finally, import into the Blender, retarget it on any of your 3D humanoid avatar. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you.